Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are in Maui, Hawaii, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on an island to see how they build stuff in this beautiful, beautiful land. The contractor we are with today is Alpha Inc. So we are running around all day today to check out their job sites. This job is a residential subdivision. They're building these terraces up the hill to create, if you're on a hill, you can't build a house on a hill. So you have to essentially create stair steps up the hill. That's what they're doing here. So, so they've done a lot of the grading. Now they're putting in the retaining walls on each one of the terraces. They're doing underground. They're doing the electrical vaults. They're doing curb and gutter concrete. Alpha's doing everything out here. This is a pretty big subdivision, almost 200 lots for the island of Maui. So pretty good sized job. Let's go check out what they got going. We are in Maui overlooking the ocean, the island up on a hill here. <clears throat> As the subdivision is built on a hill, there are multiple levels to it. To create those levels and to take advantage of the land, they're using these blocks. I believe he said, and I could be wrong, I'll confirm, 10,000 of these precast concrete blocks that they've used to create these retaining walls. So they basically, they'll have a terrace, retaining wall, then the next terrace, built houses, retaining wall, the next terrace, basically stairs up the hill with the houses built on each stair. These are really nice. They look fancy. They fit together like Legos. As you saw over there, super slick. Okay, they've placed the blocks. Now they need to place gravel behind for backfill and in the blocks. The blocks are hollow. You need gravel in all of them for the sake of drainage. Rather than use an excavator to place all of that material, they bought this, which is nicknamed the slinger. That, material, that, that machine has a hopper that the loader just put gravel in and it essentially just shoots the material wherever you want it and it can drop the material into the block. So instead of sitting there in the excavator bucket and shaking it in each one of the blocks, that thing will place all of this material. The operator uses a remote control that they're dialing in right now and this thing will about to, is about to fire up. Another advantage of this is you're not wasting a bunch of gravel. So if you're using a loader and excavator, there'd be gravel getting spilled all over, which typically is not that big of a deal. But in Maui, gravel, any kind of material is extremely expensive, a lot more expensive than the mainland. So you want to save as much as that gravel as possible. And that machine with that conveyor precision delivery system saves you a lot of money in the long run. Right behind me is the Gomeco Commander 3X. What this machine does 
is it pours and forms sidewalk and curb and gutter all simultaneously. Typically, you would need to form it all up, pour it, finish it. What this machine does is it takes the concrete in at the front, it grades it in front of where the concrete needs to go according to the GPS and that prism he's running. So that machine knows exactly where the sidewalk should be and what elevation it should be on. And then it pours and forms the concrete. You'll see behind here they have a bunch of guys finishing. You still need to do the final finishing on it. It doesn't do everything, but it gets it really dialed in. So all they're doing is just the little final touches on it. And they'll follow this machine as it goes all the way down this road. And that sidewalk curb and gutter will be perfectly where it should be without any string line, any form work. It's an amazing setup. The machine does the bulk of the work, as you can see, but it still comes down to the finishing touches. So what they're doing is they're putting the joints in right now. They've laid these boards across the concrete, the freshly poured concrete, but they haven't, it's not touching it, it's just off so they can walk across it and finish these joints all the way down. They've spaced them out evenly. So probably another 30 minutes or so, they'll be far down there all of this will be completely done and ready to cure. Finished up here at the subdivision, so we saw them setting those blocks, filling it in with gravel. Then we saw them pouring that sidewalk with the Gomeco, uh, I don't know, form machine, whatever the heck they're called, the Commander 3X. Now we're gonna go to the landfill real quick. We're gonna go to the local food truck, the most important stop of the day, and then hopefully another cider to TBD. We'll find out. So this is all material that's essentially been cleaned out of ponds, drainage. It's full of organic material and it's being loaded in the trucks right behind me to be hauled to the landfill, the only landfill in Maui. That's because this meets the spec that the landfill needs for non-permeable material. The landfill, before they place trash, they have to place a liner so that the trash juice, the leachate, doesn't permeate the water table, the groundwater. But below that liner, they like to have a backup, and that is typically clay on the mainland. Out here, the soil isn't really old enough to be that clay, everything is rock. But this organic material here that has washed into these drainage channels and the farms around me is perfect. So they're gonna take this, saturate it, well, take it, haul it to the landfill, saturate the hell out of it, place it, and then put your liner right over top of it.
We're now in Lahaina, one of the prettiest places in Maui. There's a lot of people that come here for the golfing, the snorkeling, the fancy dinners. But build with, we come here for the wastewater treatment. All of those golfers have to poop somewhere and all of that poop has to go somewhere. This is where it goes. Alpha is putting in this uh, sewer pipe here, this plastic pipe for the sake of a, a new bypass, but there's a vault in their way, so they're hammering it out with their Komatsu 490 right behind me. You'll notice a machine that size with the hammer that size a little overkill to remove a small vault like that, but they already had this machine on site for something else with the hammer doing other demolition. So they thought, why not just use the tool sitting right there rather than go get another smaller hammer for this machine, take the bucket off, put the hammer on. It's not the perfect tool, but it's a hell of a lot faster. And it's what they have right here. That's it with Alpha. Thanks to Alpha for having us out here in the beautiful uh, island of Maui. This was great. We saw subdivision. We saw a little bit of landfill work. And of course, a water treatment plant. So we're going to go have lunch, have some fish. I'm going to get a few reps in before we go. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Stay dirty, everybody. Oh.